for sa next example natin, meron tayong integral of x plus 1 all over square root of x. So, ang unang gagawin natin dyan, pag nakita tayo ng radical, syempre gagawin muna natin siya exponential form. So, square square root of x. Maging ganito siya. Integral of x plus 1 all over x raised to 1 half. Diba? Ngayon, Ang basic rule na gagawin natin dyan ay iangat natin yung x raised to 1 half sa taas. So, okay, ganito siya. x plus 1 times x raised to 1 half. Negative 1 half na siya kasi kapag uh, naglipat kayo ng position from numerator to the denominator o kaya denominator to numerator magiging ay mababago yung sign ng inyong exponent so ayan na ang susunod na gagawin dyan i-distribute nyo siya sa dalawa so integral of ito na siya x times x raised to negative 1 half so negative 1 half plus 1. Kaya ang maging sagot natin is x raised to 1 half plus x raised to negative 1 half. Kasi ito yun naging 1. Yan. dx. So, yan na. Gagawin na natin yung i-distribute na itong integral sa dalawa. Papaghiwalay na. So, integral of x raised to 1 half plus integral of x raised to negative 1 half. Diba? O, oh, ngayon, gagawin na natin yung general, general rule. Yan. So, sa una, x raised to 1 half plus 1 all over 1 half plus 1. Ayan, diba? Tapos sa pangalawa naman, plus x raised to negative 1 half plus 1 all over negative 1 half plus 1. Ayan, diba? So, ngayon, i-operate na yung x exponent so magiging ano dyan x raised to 3 halves all over 3 halves diba plus x 1 half plus 1 ay negative 1 half plus 1 so positive 1 half all over 1 half yan plus c sinaintegrate na. Dito din yung plus na. Yan, di ba? So, makita mo merong fraction sa denominator. So, iangat mo lang siya, kunin mo yung reciprocal. So, magiging 3 halves, magiging 2 thirds. 2 thirds x raised to 3 halves plus itong 1 half, pag kina may reciprocal, 2 na lang siya. x raised to 1 half plus c. So, yun na yung sagot. So, sa second problem, meron tayong x cubed plus 8 all over x plus 2 integral. So, may kita natin yung sa numerator, pwede siyang expand Ganito kasi yung ano niya, yung, yung form niya. Parang a cube plus b cube. Yan, naalala niya yun yung ganyang pag-expand. So, para ma-expand siya, quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a squared minus ab plus b squared. Yan, di ba? So, sa case natin, meron tayong x cubed plus 8. Ayan. So, makikita natin, ang value lang ng kunin natin yung a, tapos yung b. 
at dito meron tayong a cube plus b cube. So, ang gagawin natin para makansig ang cube is iko cube root natin. So, cube root, cube root. Yan. So, cancel na yan. So, yung a natin is equals to x. At yung b is equals to yung cube root ng 8 which is 2. Yan, meron tayong a at b. Pwede natin masubstitute dito. So, quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x squared a squared yan minus a times b 2 times x 2x plus b squared so 2 squared which is 4 so ito na yung lalagay, na, lalagay natin dito sa numerator natin so buburin ko muna integral of quantity of x plus 2 quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 4 all over x plus 2 yan, so napapansin nyo meron magkapareha sa numerator at sa denominator natin so, cancel na yan diba? so, ang magiging ang matitira na lang is quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx nakalimutan ko dx so gagawin natin i-distribute na yung integral sign so integral of x squared minus 2x nakita natin meron tayong constant dito kaya diretso na lang nailabas 2 integral of x plus to 4, constant na siya kaya ilalabas na yan, matitira na lang is yung dx yan so, i-operate na integrate na x squared x squared plus 1 2 plus 1 minus 2 times x Pag yung x na ganyan lang, meron siyang imaginary 1 na exponent. So, 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Over 2. Plus 4. At yung, integ yung integral ng dx is simply x. Plus c. Yan. So, cancel to both. Para sa 2. So, ito naman. Magiging x cubed all over 3 minus x squared plus 4x plus c so yan yan na yung sagot pero itong x cubed over, over 3 para maganda naman sya tignan gawin nyo na lang ganito 1 third x cubed minus x squared plus 4x plus c. Yan na yung sagot. Yan, di ba?